and the Astros have done it. They have won game one of the wild card series. That's a weird thing to stay still. Stay still. But the Astros did it. They won game one. The Astros are up 1-0. Oh. 1-0. and oh. or That's how y'all see it. Jose Altuve, George, George Springer did really good. Michael Brantley did pretty good. And it's it just, this is really, really great. Okay, this is exactly what the Astros needed to start off. They got the momentum now going into the second game. The Twins already have their backs to the wall. The Astros just need one more win to advance. That seems, sounds a lot easier than it actually is but i believe the astros can do it i actually believe in the astros right now they can get this one more win for the playoffs and yeah i got to th uh watch some of the game and stream some of the game before i had to go and get ready for work uh i'll be able to do the entire of the second game hopefully that's what i'm hoping on i might not be able to get that tail in but I'm hoping I can get the entire second game. But the first game it was really good. The first four, uh, what I was able to watch from the beginning. Really, really, it was a really great tight ball game pitchers uh, matchup. We had uh, both teams get bases loaded and both teams uh, find a way, both pitchers find a way to pitch around it. And I got to see Josh Reddick screw things up. If we would have lost, it would have been because of Josh Reddick and Josh Reddick alone. And what do I mean by that? Well, because he really royally screwed up on this. Okay? And because Zach Greinke pitched phenomenal. He did a great pitching job. Uh, and Dusty Baker actually did a smart move folding uh, Zach Greinke out before he uh, too much damage went on, before he gave up too many runs really really good i wasn't i wasn't upset i don't know why other people were talking about the controversially taking zach Greinke out too early that's something i want his whole problem with dusty breaker is leaving pitches in too long so why are we upset he's taking a pitcher out right uh then he put uh valdez out and valdez pitched phenomenal it worked valdez is a great pitcher and he showed that but it was a great win in the first four games uh we also got to hear espn do horrible reporting like like they didn't even talk about 2018 2019 seasons really they were talking about 2017 they showed the 2017 they didn't they didn't really care they don't care about anything but the ooh, astros fans are just they, they talked about things astros fans are tired of hearing about i'm sure astros fans are going to look for other ways of for commentary i'm hoping my channel is a good place for commentary and let's look at how Reddick did. The only run that the Twins put up, I wouldn't even put on Zach Greinke. It was 100% on Josh Reddick. He would not have been able to make it home. Even uh, Josh Reddick, it went over his head. Why did it go over his head? Because he got too close to the wall. He should have known. He should have known better than to get that close to the wall for, for the bounce to go over his head. Then he took way too long to turn around and get to the ball. There was no hustle. There was no sense of urgency. None. He gave. He's the reason why. He he let the ball go over his head, and then he didn't chase it down immediately. He he let it get by, and he didn't have a sense of urgency to hustle. And even with that, the ball was still throw was still pretty darn close. It wasn't like uh, it was obvious he was safe. Uh, but like if he was just you know. A few steps earlier, if he didn't let the ball go over his head, that would have been an out. Or maybe the runner would have uh, second guessed and he would have been on third. And then Josh Reddick had an opportunity to, you know, get the runs back to make up for it. The bases were loaded. And what did he do? Not do anything with it. He got out. Bases were loaded. He just got out. Yeah, he didn't do anything with the opportunity he had to fix his mistake. 
But then after I went and I had to go to work and I was at work, we had, and we had the game tied up, thanks to uh, RBI by George Springer, and then Martin Maldonado tried to go from first to third, but he got tagged out on the way to third, so the ending was over. We also had Alex Bergman make two really good uh, plays where he had to run out, barehand the ball, and throw it to first immediately to get that final out. Amazing by Alex Bregman. We had a couple double plays. Uh, oh, and the bases loaded. We got lucked out on that one. Uh, a hit line drive straight to Yaleski Guerrero to get that first out. It was great, and that was the break we needed. That got the momentum on our side. The ninth inning was everything, though. We had the bases loaded for the second time because of an error, a twins error. A uh, George Springer got on base from an error an error th uh, dropped based on that it was kind of a fielder's choice it was supposed to be easy but he dropped the ball or it was too short or whatever he got uh, they were able to advance and the runners were staying on third and then Altuve who's been having problems hitting decided okay fine then I won't hit the ball I'll just get on base on a walk he got, walked in a run we got the lead then Uncle Mike came in RB died two more runs 4-1 lead this came in and just ended it off. The ending was based on a double play once again by Alex Bregman. I believe. Yeah. Houston Nationals, a great win. I was jumping up and down, extremely excited in the cooler. I was in the cooler when that stuff happened. I was filling stuff up in the cooler and I was excited. I came out a happy and I wish I was able to finish the stream. I'm like, hey, and I should have called it into work. It was a great game, and we won. It's a great game because we won. <laughs> and it's just amazing. A lot of the Astros haters were just, they just kind of were off of Twitter for a bit. Not all of them, just a lot of them. And it was a great victory, a great win by the Astros. And the Astros have a real shot at advancing to the next round, advancing to the American League Divisional Series. And after that, the American League Championship Series, and then the World Series. They have a real shot right now. The Astros are, they look like their old selves in this. And I say that's a good thing. And I'll see you all in game two, where I'm hopefully able to get through the whole game. Again, it's going to end at three o'clock about that time, because I need to get to work at four. But... The game starts an hour earlier, so I should be able to hopefully get through this game. And I guess I'll see y'all then.